people are saying how they've played in one final and then it got taken off them last year and now they're just ready to make amends. Oh, I've never experienced anything like it. Yeah, not so much pressure on, on young men. I think it's uh, easily understated how much pressure's been on them. You know, we, we just take it for granted now. They've been an incredible group. I think they've been dealt a hand that's been awful. So for them to, to make it, it's, it's fantastic for them. I'm glad they get something out of it, and that was the reason why we're all here um, for them. It's great to be back. Um, yeah, it's just great to be back at work. I think uh, it's been a long time. Obviously, 12 months away from the club, but getting back into, into the footy mode and uh, getting back to work mode, it's, uh, it's exciting. It's great to have James back. Uh, lots changed in the last 12 months uh, since James was last at the club. Yeah, it was stating the obvious, but the new facility is, is, is one key difference. Um, the organisational structure has changed considerably. Um, so this week will be a good opportunity for James to get to know or reacquaint himself with existing staff, but also get to know new staff. Good morning, James. Good morning. Hey, hey. I will be working closely with James, um, not only for the rest of the season, um, particularly with planning about things that need to be in place uh, by the time that we recommence in November. He's going to have plenty to do. So, I mean, obviously, there's a lot of players here that he that he knows. There's also some players here that are, that are brand new to him. So, to start to build those relationships will be important, and he'll have plenty of time to do that. Yeah, 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 you know, the coaching staff have been really good in the way that they've coached um, from what, everything I've been told and obviously Bomber's done a great job as well. Um, but you couldn't be more proud of the players. I think that um, every person who's seen these players play and, and, and develop um, gives you a lot of pride in, in what they've done. Making the finals um, is fantastic. I think uh, we went on the weekend that's 13 wins, which is you know two years in a row, 13 wins in a season, which is uh, a good stepping stone and good foundation block for the future. Um, and also looking forward to just being around the fans again. I mean, the, the supporters have been incredible. The Essendon Football Club supporters have, uh, have helped get this club through a very difficult time, and uh, they continue to show how resilient and, and, and supportive they are of the football club. You know, it's been a difficult 18 months for, for everyone, for our fans, for our players, our families, um, you know, for James and for his family, for staff. So you know, getting back to normality, if you will, is, you know, it's, a, it's an important step for everyone, I think. And um, I know James is excited to be back and we're excited to have James back. 2015 is pretty exciting. Um, is, you know, whilst we've got, a, we've got one more game, hopefully we're, we're good enough to be in the finals, which has been a fantastic result for the club this year. Uh, 2015, uh, you know, should be huge excitement for, for the whole football club, uh, for where our list is, um, you know, additional people coming into the footy club. So, uh, you know, if I was a, a member from what I've seen this year, I'd feel really proud about what our club's been able to achieve, uh, but also look forward to 2015 with an enormous amount of hope about where this club can go. Good to see you. Ah, uh, no, I've got tomorrow, so I've got two half days. Yeah, it's fine. It's a bit different. Home renovation BJ style. Yeah, this is it. Just need a couple more TVs, anywho. Yeah, I actually want to get one up here because when they lie down, they can see it as well. The facility's amazing, yeah, it's, uh, it's unbelievable really. Uh, 
I'm one of the players that's so excited to come here. Um, talking to the players, they they love being out here, the staff love being out here, and you can see why. I've been watching a lot of footy and looking at a lot of vision and, and just sort of from afar looking at the game. So, you know, the game moves on every year and it'll be important to, to find out where the game's moved uh, this year and, and just get into the intricate detail. But you know, the game is still the game and, and I know the players reasonably well. So it's a little bit of work to do in that area, but um, it's more about planning forward for next year. So, to spend a lot of time on this management, a little bit about uh, maybe talking about possible trades, you know, outside the footy club and, uh, and that sort of thing. Uh, enormous amount of planning that needs to happen uh, for next pre-season. You know, what does that look like? Um, any, any thoughts that he's got on the way, the style of play that he wants to instigate, how he's going to coach that, what resources does he need? It's really about getting ready for 2015, obviously. Uh, I was the coach till the end of this season, then I'm the coach start of 2015. And, um, you know, just looking forward to getting into the planning stage, um, sorting out our list, getting ready for the draft camp, getting ready for the draft, and, and making sure uh, 2015 is a great season for the players and for the football club, and we win plenty of games. ago that your fathers went to battle for this great club. They played their guts out week in, week out to make it proud. It's more than a sash, it's a legacy. The mighty red thread that crosses our hearts and unites us all. We don't own it, we share it, we love it. Take the running, Masini good, Solomon, back to Smoke and Joe, Smoke and Joe from 50, lines it up, it's close, he's done it, Smoke and Joe, a knockout to us. An understanding that we are all in this together. A loyalty that sees us always back. It's a great pleasure for me to present the 1993 Brownlow Medal to a great champion, a magnificent footballer with great ball skills, Tex Wanganin. Well done, Tex. I'd like to thank the Essendon Footy Club, the coach, Kevin Sheedy, uh, the boys and the captain, Former Thompson. Tough teams do. Adversity gives us resolve. History gives us pride. People give us strength. But it's uh, it's opposite number Denham in the middle. Now Michael Locke. Look at this boy go. Away goes Michael Locke. 50 metres out. Still going. 30 metres out. Oh, what play. It may have been touched on the line. No. We are a family. Obviously about developing the young AFL list and you know to have so many guys debut and to see you know Zach Merritt and Marty Gleeson and all these guys, Jace Ashby play their first game and, and contribute um, when they play, that's that's what it's all about. Um, yes, on behalf of the coaches and players, I just want to say, um, yeah, welcome to, to the group. Um, enjoy today, uh, have fun, there's no pressure, so yeah, just go out and enjoy it. Yeah, we got Jake Long to, to come down and play the last game of the year. He'd been playing uh, school footy all year. He'd finished that, so uh, yeah, we got him down and gave him a bit of exposure at a high level. He was great. He um, slipped in fine. He obviously didn't know any of the players and much of the game plan, but he uh, contributed on the night, and you know we were thankful for him uh, for playing. Word of the night, boys: ruthless. 
We were ruthless last week in everything. We got one goal, we've got another one. We got another one. Have that mindset. Do not let them in this game at all. This is your first contest in the ball, where there's two or three goals in a row and looking for the fourth one. Have that mindset that we're ruthless all night. Okay, and I want to hear you guys talk to each other out in the field. Okay, good luck boys, breaking your lines. Go boys. You know, to see the young guys uh, develop over the time and you know, you've seen when they come in they're very raw and, and to try and build them and, and get them uh, to become a senior AFL listed player, that's certainly exciting for me and uh, it's rewarding at the same time. It's fantastic to get down to Skills Stadium and, and play under lights. Um, you know, we don't play many VFL games under lights and for the young AFL listed players to get some exposure um, at an AFL ground against the quality opposition is fantastic. Let's go, boys. Come on. Come on. Boys, feeling tonight's been fantastic. Relaxed, focused. Okay, let's get the game on our terms early. Okay, this is our last game for the year. Let's finish the year off playing the Essendon way. Everyone's got different emotions tonight, okay? Let's play as a team, work together as a team, and have fun and win as a team. Let's go, let's go. Yeah, we're certainly striving to, you know, to get better each year, and I think this year we have. Yeah, we've been able to um, gradually evolve and, and build this program. It's obviously our second year, we've been able to um, retain key staff, which has been beneficial for the organisation. Obviously myself, James Barron and Paul Corrigan have been involved in the program for a while now, and to have, you know, similar voices sending a similar message to the, the playing group, um, it's, it's certainly worthwhile. Uh, 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 uh. Get a message out forwards to keep filling up and watching him feed out the back. Come on mate, we need more from you, alright? You should be ripping this guy apart, okay? Starts with your contest, your follow work. I've hardly seen four seconds of big work, okay? And I reckon that backs, Cora, aren't coming up quick enough. We wanted to finish the year, obviously, um, with a win. You know, that's been our goal to, to win as many games as we can. Um, unfortunately, that didn't happen. Yeah, it's always obviously disappointing. Um, you know, we'd, we'd love to play finals, especially that the AFL looks like they, they might make the finals this series as well. But, you know, developing the young AFL with the players is, is certainly our number one priority. We wanted to play this in a way. We uh, didn't want to waver from that. We haven't wavered from that all year. We planned the game to win, and we wanted to plan to, to you know, to keep the guys in form. Um, so, you know, hopefully come finals in the AFL, they can, they can be picked in good form. Today we're here with the Nessendon fan to try and earn their sash. Cameron here is going to try and take a mark from one of my kicks jumping off a tramp. Here we go Cameron, here it comes. Oh. Here it comes. Nah, don't like that. It's coming to you mate. Oh, beautiful. Almost Joe. Cameron, here it comes, mate. Oh, nice one. Yes, good one, Joe. Another wrestling fan has earned their sash. If you'd like to earn yours, tell us what you're prepared to do via our hashtag. One way to earn your sash is to visit the Kia website and see the many great deals currently on offer across the entire Kia range. So visit kia.com.au and find a deal that's right for you. You can even leave the sash on if you like. My first sash, number 28, uh, debuted against Hawthorne in round 18 in 2012. Uh, the jump was presented to me by my father. I suppose it was a thing I'll never forget. Um, family was there as well, and yeah, just something I'll never, ever forget. Found out I was playing um, very, very late. Uh, it was um, a late withdrawal from Buddy Franklin, and um, obviously they rested Kale Hooker, and I, I played my first game against Hawthorne which is very exciting. Obviously, can't be against a few great names, but yeah, I was just lucky to get a call up. First one was against Fremantle over in Perth. Obviously, a very memorable game for the fans and obviously the club in general. Um, just great to be a part of that. Yeah, it was definitely good for a lot of the boys. Obviously, a lot of pressure off their shoulders and a sigh of relief just to go over there and pull up a win after a long, long time being down. Yeah, we couldn't be more happier singing that song that night. Definitely one I remember. 
And then I grew up back into the bond as a kid. I idolised Hurdy for a bit there and um, yeah, it's just a, it was a dream to me back then and it's definitely a great thing for me to do and I'd wear it every week if I could. <laughs> Well, we're here to celebrate the great Dick Reynolds today. Um, we're celebrating the launch of his book, King Richard. It's been a five-year process to, to interview close to 200 people and, and really celebrate Dick's life and, and get to the heart of what he really meant to the Essendon Football Club. Dick Reynolds is the heart and soul of the Essendon Football Club during really dark times, the Depression and the Second World War. He really led their on-field success, but he also was a key pillar of the Essendon community and was a really recognisable celebrity, I guess, at the time. And, um, but his success on the field really elevated him to a whole another level and really lifted the club out of dark times to the success that it is today, really starts with him. Dick was uh, a thorough gentleman. Um, his record as a player, we all, all knew that and we had a lot of respect for him. Uh, when you were a young player in there, you knew where you stood with him. Uh, he helped in a lot of ways in the experience of uh, success that he had in his career. Uh, my personal feelings was that I appreciated so much because I admired him when I was young and watched him play, and to be coached by him made a big difference to my career. I started off watching him in the old wooden stand with hundreds and thousands of other people and uh, used to yell out Dickie to him and then, you know, when I got into the side in 1947, well, he welcomed me up there and, you know, shook my hand and uh, I thought it was pretty marvellous, you know, shake hands with a triple brown medalist, he, he, was, he was marvellous. You know. I'd have given him three votes nearly every time. I mean, he, he just did things by just unpredictable things. He just somehow must have been marvellous to know where the ball was going to go two seconds before it got there. That's just the way he was. He was marvellous. Dan's done a great job. It's a great um, thing for you know, our kids, kids, the generations that come along, and for Essendon supporters to read about the history. Uh, and Grandad, uh, the man he was, he's a gentleman, and um, yeah, it's a privilege to have a book out, a family book. G'day guys, Nick Comer here. Like Mark Toby Taylor, us Essendon players have a few hidden talents of our own. While I don't mind kicking a few goals and laying a few tackles, I actually uh, don't mind having a hit of golf on the, the day off or two, so I've got a few tricks for you. First of all, just the, the stall. So you just stall it on there and get it back going. Through the legs. <laughs> back up, perfect. Around the world, one of my favourites. Oh, we'll double up. Oh, done that before. And my favourite, uh, the body shot. Uh, I'm gonna stall it on the back of my neck and hopefully get it back down to their club. Fake grass, synthetic. I'm not sure how this will go, but we'll see what happens. Get the crowd. That is bad. And there you go, that's my hidden talent. My name is Mark McVeigh and I strive to give the Bombers a lifetime of value throughout my 232 game career. I've headed back to the club disguised as a Nenna on a supporters tour to fool all my teammates that called me old. I stitched up a couple of Bomber young guns nice and proper. And here's how it happened. 
Well, it all started with a pretty mad, uh, intense session, a uh, very passionate acting coach. Don't ever do it. She doesn't look stupid when she eats. You're not committing enough. I think you're frightened that it's not going to be believable. <coughs> but if you go half, it'll be f All I had to do was get the Nana basics down, and then it was off to meet some old bomber supporters. The ladies insisted on an honesty session to finish our bonding. Now, I've been grilled by Sheeds and Herdy, but these old ducks were making me nervous. Mark, do you think Dustin Fletcher would uh, go out with me? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a new appreciation for actors. Had to spend all day in the makeup chair to get the right look. It was 10 hours in the makeup chair with the man that helped create Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. Well, I really wanted to test it out in Bomber Heartland and uh, see how the disguise would go. Windy Hill is. Yeah. Oh, I've gone the wrong way. We got the tour of the True Value Solar Centre, so it was really great. I suppose when you first come to the club, um, you do do a lot of sessions, as Zach has said, just to try and put on size. Okay, is it your first year at the club? <laughs> he does. My sixth year. Sixth, sixth year, is it? Yeah. Sorry, I just thought you yeah, look a bit skinny. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> oh, cop that, cop that. <laughs> That's why he's on the street building program. <laughs> <laughs> Finally, with the help of Jason Winderlick, we were able to uh, pull off one of the biggest wind-ups in SNS history. Nice, Jason. Yeah, That's yeah. a beat three yeah. Do you want to try and get up? Do you think you might? Oh, you can't. That's a bit off you guys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <fun>. <laughs> no, we were talking about it. But I need to show these young lads that this old duck could still run rings around them. few days and uh, just desperately need a net and nap and a nice hot cup of tea. True Value Solar, powering a lifetime of change. This has been a Fox Footy presentation.